Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. When it comes to investing your hard-earned money, there are several myths that one may come across. Many of you may think that you first require a huge sum of money to begin with investments in various avenues. Well, this is a most common myth that causes a delay in the investment journey of many individuals. So today, I'm going to dispel this myth and show you how you can start investing even with a small amount and watch your money grow over time. Investing is an essential part of your financial planning process to achieve your envisioned financial goals. The most effective way of wealth creation is through investing your money in various avenues that could increase in value over time. Making regular investments in worthy avenues instills the habit of saving and financial discipline in the long run. It encourages you to accumulate a corpus in terms of emergency fund that could be a safety net in times of need. You don't have to be the wolf of the Wall Street to begin investing. Even if you have a small amount, start investing regularly. Further, you may gradually increase the size of your investments. If you start small and invest on a regular basis, you can amass a substantial amount of money over time. As mentioned in an African proverb, little drops of water make a mighty ocean. So, make every drop count even the small investments. This indicates that every penny you save and invest matters as it assists you in wealth creation and leads a step closer towards achieving your goals. Now you must be thinking saving a certain amount every month could be sufficient. However, there is a difference between saving and investing. Saving entails depositing a certain amount in a secure instrument with the predictable returns while investing entails putting the money to work in avenues that carry a certain risk to generate higher returns. Although investment in market-linked product involves a risk-reward ratio, there is a basic principle for investing that you must follow to balance out the market risk. Always invest according to your risk tolerance, investment horizon and financial goals. Many individuals postpone beginning their investment journey until they have a huge surplus to invest. However, it is suggested that one should start investing from their first paycheck since there is no such thing as a right time to start investing. The trick is to be consistent with your investment regardless of the amount, huge or small. One of the major concerns that investors planning to begin their mutual fund journey are facing these days is volatility in the equity market due to uncertain macroeconomic conditions. You see, markets are volatile by nature. We can't control how these macroeconomic variables affect the market as investors. But one can take action to reduce their impact on the investment portfolio. Investors should focus on the long-term approach while investing in equity market rather than being tempted by the short-term blips. There is a method that can help investors save the wealth from eroding and even out the effects of volatile market. A systematic investment plan, also known as SIP, in mutual funds remains to be one of the wisest ways to invest in equity market and watch your money grow in the long run. Now, what is SIP in mutual funds? A systematic investment plan is an investment route offered by mutual funds wherein an investor can gradually invest a fixed amount in a mutual fund scheme of their choice at regular intervals. SIPs in mutual funds offer several advantages to an individual investor. Like, one can begin with minimum investment in mutual fund via SIPs with as low as Rs 500. It offers the benefit of power of compounding and helps your money grow gradually over a period of time. The rupee cost averaging feature in SIP reduces your cost of investment. It lets you buy more units when the market swings downwards and fewer units when it rises. It instills a good financial discipline of making regular investments regardless of the market conditions. Allows flexibility to invest at your convenience with the help of online investment platforms and auto debit facility from your bank account. Most importantly, investment via SIP mode in mutual fund helps generate inflation beating returns and mitigate the risk of market volatility. Consequently, SIPs in mutual funds allow an individual investor to begin with minimum investment in mutual funds 
and work towards achieving their envisioned financial goals. SIP is an ideal way for retail investors to benefit from the power of compounding and create wealth in the long term. Timing the market is not easy. SIP is the best way to ride out market volatility. Now let us understand with an example how making minimum investment in mutual funds via SIP can make your money grow. For example, Mr. A begins with a minimum investment in mutual funds via SIP of Rs 500 on a monthly basis with an investment horizon of 10 years and expected rate of return of 10% per annum. Now what will be the maturity amount? With the help of an SIP calculator, one can evaluate the amount that will be accumulated over time on a monthly SIP investment. All you need to do is enter a few details such as the monthly SIP amount, the SIP tenure and the compounded rate of return you expect from the mutual fund scheme in which you would be investing. The SIP calculator is the most convenient and user friendly tool to know the future value of your mutual fund investments. It will help generate the maturity amount of your investments within split of seconds automatically with one click. As you can see, the benefit of the power of compounding that comes with investment via SIP mode in mutual fund helps investors grow and accumulate decent wealth in the long run, even with a small budget or minimum investment amount. SIPs over a longer period of time will compound your wealth and have better risk adjusted returns. So you should start investing as soon as possible to ensure that you remain invested for a longer period and watch your money grow. Although you may find equities are high risk investments as compared to fixed income products, they are known to have the potential to generate high returns in the long run and help you build a large corpus even with modest budgets. As a result, one should start investing in SIPs as early as possible, even with a minimum investment and gradually increase the amount with time. Do note that wealth creation is a long term process that survives the market volatility in various phases. And the sooner you start, the more time you will have to gain from it. Now let us see how do SIPs perform across various market phases. SIPs in mutual funds instill the habit of making regular investments irrespective of the market conditions, whether bearish or bullish. SIPs strive to lower the overall cost of acquisition by averaging out your cost amid market volatility. However, when markets turn volatile, many investors begin to question their investment decisions and consider discontinuing their existing SIPs or liquidate them out of fear of losses. It is natural to panic in a volatile market when you see your investments in red. However, it is prudent to continue your SIPs particularly in a falling market because the same amount of monthly contributions will result in purchase of additional units. Having said that, volatile market can also be viewed as an opportunity rather than a setback. By staying invested via SIPs in turbulent markets, investors can buy more units at low price. And as markets turn favorable, one may receive fewer units due to an increase in valuation. In the longer run, SIP method acts as a shock absorber for your investment portfolio. As you can see, when the market moves higher, the subsequent investments of the SIPs are made at a higher NAV, increasing the purchase cost. As the market becomes favorable, the lump sum investment generates a higher gain. If you started an SIP at a market bottom phase, your subsequent investments would have come at a higher cost. Hence, a lump sum investment may perform better in a bullish market phase. However, Bear in mind that investing a large sum of money at one go is a high risk proposition and may not always gain profits. Here's the caveat. If you could identify market bottom or market peaks, you would now be sitting on tons of extra income. However, not even seasoned investors or market experts are able to predict with conviction about where markets are headed. The Sensex recently hit a peak of 67,000 while the Nifty crossed the 19,000 mark. Could anyone have predicted the market would touch this level? One could employ market timing strategies, but they may not always work. Now what if market corrects or there is a bearish phase? 
As we all know, the pandemic period in the year 2020 was a turbulent phase for the Indian equity market. However, the market quickly bounced back from its March 2020 lows, which were brought on by the uncertainty surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. This was a shorter bear market phase as compared to the turbulent market during the financial year 2015-16. The bear market was the result of turbulent equity movement, dismal corporate earnings, subnormal monsoons, plunge in commodity and oil prices along with surprise interest rate cuts and so on. During uncertain market conditions, an SIP would surely be a wiser choice as compared to investing your corpus as a lump sum. If market becomes volatile or corrects from its current level, the inherent rupee cost averaging feature of SIPs will take care of the intermittent volatility. More units will be added during the corrective phase of the equity market and when the market begins to ascend again, it would compound your wealth. However, keep in mind that SIPs do not always beat lump sum investments. If the markets do not work in your favor and your SIPs yield unsatisfactory result, do not get this made. You can even use market volatility as an opportunity to add more units at a lower cost. It is important to keep a long-term investment horizon of 5 to 7 years or more even if you are investing via a SIP. Compared to lump sum investments, the returns may be a few percentage points lower with SIPs but they will be adequate to accomplish your financial goals. Now to summarize, with the several benefits that SIPs offer, it proves to be a rewarding strategy to watch your money grow by making minimum investment in mutual funds. While some entities promote SIP as a safe investment plan that eliminates market risk and helps you achieve your target by generating above average returns, remember that SIP is not free from market risk. As mentioned earlier, SIP is just a route for making minimum investment in mutual funds and building a wealthy corpus to achieve your financial goals. You may attain your long-term financial objectives sooner by starting a SIP in worthy equity mutual funds which could provide significant returns than traditional investment options like recurring deposit, PPFs, etc. Depending on your suitability, you may consider choosing to invest in best mutual fund schemes. I hope this video has dispelled the myth that you need a sizable sum of money to start investing in mutual funds and given you a fresh perspective on no matter the size of your investment, it is important to start small and start early to benefit from the power of compounding. So go ahead and explore the best suitable mutual fund schemes. You may consider the SIP mode to work through achieving your financial goals in a systematic manner. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. For more such guidance on mutual fund investments, check out the related article and videos. Links are in the description below. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel for watching such interesting investment related videos. Signing off for now, happy investing. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.